Hi everyone, welcome once again to the Big B and Little T channel. As always, I haven't changed, I'm the Big B, also known as Brian. In today's vlog, I want to share with you uh, a weekend that we spent in Tulsa and a one night kind of trial run with our new camper van. Now before the pandemic, Tina and I tried our best, we weren't always successful, but we tried our best to about once a quarter to take a long weekend, close the coffee shop for a day and a half, and take a long weekend away. Like at an Airbnb in Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Didn't have to be very far, but we just needed to get away from our day-to-day -day grind. I'm sure many of you can relate to that, the, the grind of coffee in our particular case. And, uh, but during the pandemic, of course, it became more challenging. That was one reason that we ended up buying a tent and instead of going to an Airbnb, we actually went and camped out at a nearby campground, which is called Lake McMurtry. We did that a couple of times and uh, it was a lot of fun. But now that the pandemic, at least where we are, is improving, I should say, and uh, people are still social distancing and mostly wearing masks, and most people that probably want to be vaccinated have been vaccinated, we decided that we would um, go to Tulsa for a kind of an extra long weekend. We took all Friday off and part of Saturday and Sunday and planned to come back on Monday. And what was special about it too was the Friday was Tina's birthday. So we threw that in there as well. So I packed up on a Thursday night. We did not pack our camper van. We packed in our other van because we I haven't quite figured out yet how we're gonna transport our bicycles on our new camper van. I'm pretty sure the best solution is going to be a bike rack that attaches to the spare tire, but we don't wanna spend any more money right now and I need to do a little more research on that. So we just loaded up our van with our bicycles, our, you know, all of our supplies, and of course, Lucy, and of course, Tina, and we took off. It was a beautiful evening. We got to our Airbnb, which is, which is the second time we've actually stayed at this Airbnb, and it's very close to the River, Riverside Trail or the, the Tulsa Trail Run um, that runs along the Arkansas River. And uh, we had been there back in October, and uh, we just really liked the Airbnb. We loved the location, and uh, so we were very comfortable with it. So we got there, we got unpacked, and then got up Friday morning just to an absolutely beautiful day. It turned out to be, uh, as we were biking that day, we said it was probably the most beautiful day uh, of the entire year so far. It had very little wind, which is highly unusual, and it was in the mid 70s and sunny. So the first thing we did was, of course, first thing we did, we got up and had coffee and relaxed a while, but once we got through our kind of morning routine, we took our bikes, went down to the river trail, and we rode from about 21st and Riverside on the trail all the way to Jinx, which is about 10 miles away. And along the way, we passed by a casino that, that just has a beautiful path, and we crossed over an old bridge, and it, it was just a lot of fun. We got there, we turned around and came back and uh, when we got back, probably at about the 18th and 19th mile, we both decided that 20 miles was probably our limit uh, until we get in a little better shape. And uh, the next day, we actually got up and we decided to go again. We actually went the opposite way on the trail. And we didn't like that quite as well because just because it went through some residential areas, but it was something different. We did find ourselves going across a bridge uh, that was uh, covered and uh, there was a train that was going down below us and that was kind of awesome. And we ended up riding about 10 miles that particular day. It was just a lot of fun. So that put us through Saturday and then Sunday morning we really didn't have any big plans. Um, what we planned to do was probably uh, take a long walk with Lucy and just relax and read all day. But you know, I woke up Sunday morning with kind of this uncomfortable kind of feeling like there just something wasn't right and I was afraid that I had erred in my reservation for this Airbnb, so I quickly pulled out my phone and looked, and our reservation was supposed to end, in my mind, on Monday at 11, and instead, I had put the reservation as 11 on Sunday. So here it was, 8.30 in the morning, thinking we were gonna have a long, relaxing day, and suddenly, we needed to be out. Oh, 
You ever done anything like that? Some kind of bonehead decision? It just really, unfortunately, kind of ruined my morning and I think it did for Tina's for just a little while as we tried to figure out what to do. Did we come back, which we really didn't want to do because that kind of draws us into work. Did we want to see if we could find another Airbnb? And we did look at some, but they were just so expensive for just a one night stand. They were like $150 and we just start, we just don't have money to spend and it just seemed, it just didn't seem reasonable. So we basically went and took a walk and packed up and just parked by the Riverside Trail and just thawed and I moped probably. And Tina finally came up with this idea. She said, let's, let's make uh, lemonade out of this lemon and let's take the van, the camper van, let's go home, grab the camper van and let's go out at, to Lake Murtry and camp at the spot that we liked before and give the van a good test run. And I thought that was a great idea. So we stopped by, got lunch in Tulsa, drove back, and was able to convert uh, over what we needed because we really weren't ready. In about an hour, we got everything we needed from the van to the camper van, uh, grabbed some additional food, and we just took off. But before we took our camper van out on its trial run, on her trial run, we wanted to christen her because one of the things we accomplished when we were in Tulsa was we gave her a name. Now I know that sounds goofy. I don't know if I've ever had a name for a car. Um, we must really be getting older or really be bored or just really wanna have some fun, but we just felt that she needed a name. So you know how uh, ships and other kinds of things when they, when they are new and they go out on their first voyage and they christen them, people do that with champagne or something like that and crack it. We didn't think that was appropriate with our camper van. So instead, we christened her with Rust-Oleum. Yes, Rust-Oleum. And we christened her with the name Miss Vanessa Van Gogh. Vanessa Van Gogh. Anyway, that's her name. That's what we were going with. And we took off that evening, Sunday evening, for Lake McMurtry and we got to our campsite. There was one other camper that was a few campsites away and we unloaded and got dinner started and uh, everything drove, she drove well. We were able to get everything in there well. We were able to test a lot of different things including the uh, Skeeter beater which is a netting that you put with the, across the doors when the doors were open to get some air. Again, just like the rest of the weekend, it was a beautiful night. It got down to about 63 degrees. Our solar fan on top of the van brought in the cool air and it worked beautifully. Uh, we had no problems at all. And uh, the next morning we got up, we took a walk and uh, it was just a great, great weekend, a great test run for Vanessa Van Gogh. Before I close out the video, I thought I would just review real briefly some things that we thought worked really, really well with Vanessa Van Gogh. We really liked the Skeeter beater. That worked well. Our propane stove worked well. The packing that we you know, took, we thought it was just gonna rattle and everything and it drove well. It didn't rattle excessively. The solar worked great. The bed was very comfortable. Lucy seemed to kind of adjust and do an awesome job. We just spent time in the van. It was the, one of the things that was just amazing is we uh, put all of the, the blackout things on the windows. I had some solar twinkle lights and we put those on the inside and it just entirely lit up the inside of the van at night. It was, it was fun and it was beautiful. And when we turned those lights off, my goodness, it was so dark and so quiet in there. It was just, it was amazing. So we're gonna take her out again here in a couple of weeks and be a little more prepared and try a few more different things to see what works and what doesn't work for us. And this, this has been our intent all along, is just to take her out and to test it, to see what we think about camper vanning versus tent camping. And uh, the one thing I really liked a lot was it sure didn't take very long to uh, close down and head back home as it does when you have a tent and you have all the things uh, associated with that tent that have to be packed away. So in any event, I would love for you to share this video. I'd love for you to share the name that we chose. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. We've really enjoyed hearing from people 
Um, and uh, we would love to hear from you again, and we'd love to comment back to you, and that's how we'll build community. Hey, you guys, go out, make it a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.